Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Cam back at you again, this time with a Fernandez FR45, a guitar that I got for my birthday, off my brother, very, very cheaply, I hear. <laughs> and uh, it is a guitar we know very little about, and we were hoping by the end of this video we'd have some more knowledge in the comments about these guitars. We know nothing about them, and we're struggling to find things online about them, so we're wondering if you guys know any more. Anyway, here what I'm holding is essentially an evolution in the Super Strat. Uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s, and obviously with the evolution of things like the Floyd Rose, everybody wanted to copy it. And Fernandez were a keen contender in making the Super Strat model. Obviously you had Ibanez, Charvel, and a wealth of others. And this is their take on it. And this one, this guitar we suspect is mid to late 80s. And we suspect, we don't know. And uh, this guitar, as I say, Fernandez FR45, the body is mahogany, we have a maple neck, rosewood fretboard, uh, 24 frets, if they're stainless steel, then that's amazing, considering how cheap the guitar was, and, although they could be, they might not be, <laughs> uh, they're really, really nice, it feels great, when I first picked up the guitar, it feels just like an Ibanez, uh, but a bit rounder, if that makes sense, it's not as way for thin. You know you get depth of a neck and then the width of a neck? This has got no depth at all. It's super thin, but it's not as wide as an Ibanez. If that makes sense. And another cool thing about this guitar too, don't know how well we're going to capture this on camera, but it's got a tilt back headstock as well, which I don't think is that common really with uh, strat shaped guitars as such. I know some guitars and some strats do have it, but I've never really seen it on this kind of guitar before unless your Angel Vivaldi maybe. Uh, pickups, however, this particular guitar has amazing pickups. It sounds awesome and I've used it in a few videos prior to this one. And they're really bright, really sizzly sounding and we suspect that Fernandez is own, but we're not sure. Uh, the bridge pickup, I'd liken it to a JB in terms of sound, but maybe a tad treblier. I don't know. Um, I've not taken the guitar apart or looked inside because I cannot be asked with that stuff. But the, um, the we have essentially what seem to be hot rails style, style pickups, although they're not humbuckers. They behave in a similar way. Well, I've got a Storm Shadow guitar with the hot rails in it and these pickups behave in a similar way. Bar this middle one, which is broken, we suspect. Or there's some wiring gone wrong. Uh, we have a five-way switch here, uh, a volume and a tone. And the bridge is really weird. Uh, I have to admit, it's, it, it behaves, well it, it is a Floyd Rose initially, but uh, a Fernandez designed variation. Uh, no fine tuners you would have thought by appearance, but it has really interesting fine tuners on the side here, which are actually really awesome. Uh, obviously behave the same way any fine tuners would, but they're really sturdy and feel great and you get a lot of uh, range out of them, if that makes sense. You get some that you turn forever and they never make a difference, but these ones are really, really cool. The tuners, I never mentioned, were Goto tuners, which, to be honest, suck. Sorry, Angus. Uh, but they aren't good tuners. Um, but uh, besides that, you can get do all you want with the fine tuners anyway. And the, the colour of the guitar, it's like a Jake Burst, like a Jake Ely Charvel. But, uh, as, like I say, we don't know the name of it, I just call it Purple Burst, or Bruised Purple Burst, if I was to call it anything. Really, really nice guitar. Let's give you a look at the back here as well. Uh, it's virtually mint, there's no wear on it at all, apart from various little things missing. Uh, a lot of the questions I got are the um, no locking nuts, and that's because the guitar didn't come with any. It didn't even come with the tremolo bar either, we had to uh, order the parts online. And uh, it's, I think because Japanese, um, the Japanese operate off a different system, uh, they have the metric system, I think, they uh, have different measurements for their parts that they make and their standard, standardization of parts is very different. And uh, for instance, a Floyd Rose tremolo would not fit into this. Uh, same way Floyd Rose locking nuts would not fit up here, believe me we tried, <laughs> and they don't work. They're really, really narrow, thin little bits of metal on here, and we're thinking of making our own to go up here. Because the screws for Floyd Rose is fit in there, but the actual locking nuts themselves don't. But nevertheless, that is the guitar. Tell us more about it if you know more about it, because they seem to have made 
zillions of Fernandez guitars and there's tons available on eBay, but they're never the same. Each one has its own subtle little differences. Like you'll see tons that look like this, but they're not the same. Like this one's got a really weird shaped headstock. It's basically strat for 99% of it, then slightly squared off up here. And you get some others that are the beak shape. And then there are others with different bridges on, although they're supposed to be the same. It's really weird. So please tell me more about this guitar and I really welcome your feedback. And you won't be hearing too much playing of this guitar because it doesn't stay in tune at all. These are really, really old strings and it's an old guitar. What can I say? Let's go though. Thank you very much.